aggressive peak, but Wardell wins that duel with the Ghost. TSM get a ton of room to work with, right? And they get oh. so much information. Nice shot from Steel. He's picked up the Shark oh. with the pistol and is panning out. I, I, I mean, you just have to love Steel for so many things, right, in this game. The weapon choices, someone that, that shows the Guardian uh, a lot more than other players and just... It generally makes interesting choices. The Sheriff and the Pistol. Really cool that that's opened things back up here now for his team. Hiko is doing the damage no. as well. He's going to finish off what Steel set up for him. And these guys, the oldies, the boomers, are showing the youngsters how it's done. And that's going to help them to now swing things in their favor a little bit. And 100 Thieves are going to have to, to push off of that because TSM are working out the info. And there comes the kill for 100 Thieves, opening up off the entry there through mid. And it looks like they have B side control. Butler is going to have a lot on his hands here. There's a trade, and now it's down to Haste. Steel looking to get the spike down. Spike he does have that lockdown. It'd be interesting to see if they use it this early on. It might not even get a chance. The turrets there draw a little bit of attention. As Wardell from the top rope, not able to land the shots with the blades, and the Sheriff doesn't come through as well. Steel gets the best of him. Haze alone in a 1v3. Now, it's going to be... All right, never mind. I, I was going to say, it was it could be something potential, but a 4k from Steel. 100 Thieves take a three-round lead. They're going to get the spike down at the hands of Nitro. Hazed on a potential flank, but Steel sniffs it out. The Lurker gets lurked. Now, 100 Thieves try to keep control of the site. The paranoia is there. Nitro stays. Swings. Wardell with the op again. Asuna takes care of Cutler, but again, that operator is still in the fold. It's still a problem. The lockdown being used. As it's just down to Wardell. Yeah, and it's 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 tough. He has to keep this alive. Oh, the timing is really awful, unfortunately, for him there. Mid. So off the bat of this reset, TSM pulls everyone off of B initially. So now they don't know if there is a play into B or if the play seems to wait, and if this is a fake or not. Trade comes through and they are just having to play retake here. Although it has to smoke that. He can't shoot the orb out of the operator and also deal with the recon, so it's getting really awkward here now for TSM as 100 Thieves hit a nice timing into this A site. And now it's on the retake for TSM. This has been so difficult. And you, you see Steel, who's been waiting back in the spawn the entire time. Now he's going to join in, so 100 Thieves being able to do so without one of the members on their squad in on the action. And it seems to be going sideways, of course, as soon as I say that. Sabrosa and Cutler get a kill apiece. The spike has gone down. It's just down to Hiko. One and enemy Steel. remaining. Paranoid is going to push him back. Steel drops. It's down to Hiko. And Hiko, who's been, I mean, he's been good at stuff like this many a time. He's good for one. The Hunter's Fury, no freaking way. Tags up both. Look at the stick oh. that he no freaking way. Captain Clutch does it again. Hiko wins the round for 100 Thieves. Sights and lose potential kills early on. And they can instead play the lockdown for the retake. Sabrosa using Omen's TP, obviously, to get some nice angles nice. here for Ambi Long. Great stuff there from him, but at the same time, the push through Kitchen Up Tube is going to cause problems. Asana just barely gets the rocket out in time to take down the opposing raids. Drone dies by yellow, and that's going to be a site that's now clear, but they have to ferry across the spike. It's not in position just yet, so still problems here, potentially, for 100 Thieves in coming to completion on this spike run. Yeah, for sure. And then in Sub Rosa on the flank, the fact that TSM have three ultimates to work with. And to add insult to injury, the spike is down in a precarious spot where 100 Thieves can't easily get onto to, to, to really take. Steel has to go for that. Sub Rosa gives in the business, dismisses him as TSM continue to pile it on. 100 Thieves just down to one player left. Nitro left alone with 53 health. The dart is there. Great swing by Nitro, though. This should be, I mean, it's 20 seconds, though. That's really the problem. He's going to go for it. Nitro picks up the res on Ethan. Let's see what they can. They have to just get the kills here. There's no sure. other op opportunity to win this round. So there goes Ethan. Takes down some bros. One more player to find, but just playing the time and just not allowing this to to even be possible. Unharassed plants there for Nitro pulling back the close plant. And with these looking pretty good. The Hunter's Fury wow. that is available for color. He's gonna drop in there. Oh, hello. Why <laughs> the uh, finishing shots there with the steel? He was of course detained. And Ethan's just watching that flank. And oh, oh. that's a huge kill for Sabrosa. Now there's a really big problem. You got Hiko sitting up here in the nest. He's got his partner there in crime. Asana looking to try to find a way to prevent this spike from being diffused and it's up to Hiko. Can he really do it again? Looks like this time, no dice for under these. And TSM, you know, we were looking for them to find some fortune and it's, it's happening. They won the key opening duels.
There's three players for TSM around B long, and they're re-droning this position. Under these are in trouble if they, if they decide to commit for this. And that's two players spotted in this position. Nice anticipation there from Zabruza, finishing off both players, leaving just two left for 100 Thieves. Yikes. Yeah, and they're, you know, interesting decision by 100 Thieves to commit to that anyway, right? Like even after the, the pick across the middle, that said, TSM have Hunter's Fury, so they could deny it. And they may try to do that, and it's a high, it's a high position for Asuna to try to wow. prevent them from getting position here. Paranoia is going to come out. Asuna is going to get tagged up. TSM up from the top rope. Sabrosa had a great spot, but Asuna gives him the business. Nitro does it as well. It's these chaotic moments where 100 Thieves seems to shine. Nitro going to invest the res onto Hiko as they try to go in aggressive. Nitro gets another one. Drone trades it out. Hiko has to back up. No Hunter's Fury for shenanigans here, but he is one kill away. And Anastorm is going to come out. They believe it got to have no freaking way Hiko does it again. He's got the Hunter's Fury. The shot starts there. The swing. Hayes stops it. Stuffs it dead in his tracks. TSM take the round away. And the spike gets down on the side with three players for under these for the for the retake. Now Steel no is way. definitely uh, you know he's been sitting in mid this whole time as as the lurk. So Steel, if he finds a good timing, could change the round immensely. But if he misses that timing, could lose the round for his team. Let's we'll see Nitro though creeping through the dark cover finds himself a good spot, and we actually see Steel going back here to try to find a way to help his team out. Hiko trades it at the very least, and Hiko we know he has that hunt fury, but so does cover ethan was there ethan really goes big there nitro gets one cutler trades him out cutler alone in a 1v2 he's running out of time he's running out of health <laughs> i don't know that he has time to do much of anything here and you know storm so tsm three versus five and they're not down and out just yet though spike planted. Oh, certainly not Hiko gets a spike down that certainly puts him closer to down and out as Asuna continues to cause problems. Nitro does as well. Hazed alone with 45 health. Well, that's all she wrote. 100 Thieves look really good on the attacking side on the first half of Icebox. Always be closing. Hmm. Got to close those rounds out. And so far, 100 Thieves definitely have that in the bag, but we'll see on the pistol. Anything is going to be different. I like the Sage Wall on this A side. I think it's really awesome on these pistols. Oh, just no playing way. that cheeky headshot angle. That's so weird, but oh, <laughs> no, I don't see the Boombot just strolling past him, somehow still alive, managed to delay the Boombot just long enough to pick up the extra kill. <laughs> and with all said and done, it leaves just one. Cutler is able to trade onto Hiko at the very least, but Asuna is too cracked to allow Cutler to survive, even though they have allowed Hunter Thieves to be aware as to what they're doing. Well, with that said, it's a nice flank <laughs> coming in from Asuna, finds his way. <laughs> through the tube and maybe he isn't moving a little bit too slow unfortunately it's just hard to know and they will collect the spike and they have some ground towards this a b bo uh, bomb site but unfortunately it really did come down to the cut being able to hit one of those shots because look at all the ground now that's able to be gained by 100 thieves around the site so at this point tsm have to hit some crazy shots even to have a chance to plant the spike left. and they are committed to the site right? yeah you're gonna have to do something filthy just to, just to get the same zip code right but it's such a strong piece of useful as the Aegis. Easily wasted. It's good to see that that's not the, the use case in this instance. Hika's going to be able to find the kill there onto Sabrosa, lurking around. And again, we know that the weaponry is just not great here for TSM. Now, this is the reason the area is pretty... Oh, right, well, the Odin is pretty nice from this position. One enemy remaining. Also deals with the walls pretty effectively. Oh, hello! Here comes Drone! He's got the Sheriff in hand, and he's really making it rain at this point. It's going to be difficult for him to get much more, though. He's going to try to jiggle it. But unfortunately, 100 Thieves will get themselves to 12. And Doug is looking like a foregone conclusion on map one. What they don't have is time. It's kind of ridiculous as well how much Steel can do in terms of delay. With the Odin from that position yeah. on the tube, it's, it's pretty disgusting. And you can see he's just getting free damage out of it, out of it and also a kill. Spamming the Odin. He's not even having to do anything. He's just looking at a box and just holding down mouse one. Come on, <laughs> this, this is not, not fair. fair, is it? And he goes right in there to finish things off. And speaking of not fair, he goes had, you know, so many great clutches here, but it's going to be 13 to 4, 100 Thieves. They're looking so good on Icebox. He did spot one player, I believe. Yep, 100 Thieves saw it as well. Ethan swings, takes care of him. Wardell tries to get in. He's going to get tagged pretty badly before taking care of Asuna and getting away to safety. Kills traded on each side. Yeah, quick reset into a fast rotation onto the B site. 
After that mid-action, nice. oh, great stuff there from Drone. Nice drive by Crag onto Ethan. Will allow the plant to go down onto B. Nitro and Hiko coming through now. And they know there has to be at least one player in B main, given how many there are at the moment. It's just buying time. Right, oh, as long standing. as he can keep Nitro entertained. If he wins the duel, great. And even if he doesn't, he just buys himself time, leaves Hiko alone. <laughs> the floor beneath him, eating him alive. When Wardell swings out, takes care of him with the ghost. TSM win the pistol, and they do so, Dan, in pretty convincing fashion. So they're pushing up Gelato for free, but look at the rotation coming in here as well. So they should be ex expecting to run into something. There's Hayes with one. The transfer is pretty good there from Asana. Picks up a second, and they get the info. Three versus three, and he goes hiding in wine. He's going to get a chance at something special Jump's here. Over. They stood there. Back. Wait. Nice shot from Hiko. He takes care of Wardell, and now the gig's up. Drone knows that he's there. Swings in the ult. Able to take care of him. It's going to clear out the rest of the site. He's going to come back. He's going to pick up the spike, and now he's left with the decision, right? He knows that they have some mid control at the hands of Sub Rosa, or he can commit to A. It looks like he's rotating off, and this, my dear friends, is an awkward situation. It's gonna shoot him right in the back of the head. The nice shots onto Sub Rosa as well. The spikes down. Everything goes in favor of Hundred Thieves as they take the first round. This is here from Hundred Thieves, like that ice hole to raise main shells into B main to punish all the old pickup. But TSM slowing things down, moving towards mid now. There's a setup here on Catwalk. Eco there with the shock dust is gonna be able to find one frag with that and. Set up wow. here on Cat is still looking good, and it hasn't been dealt with. And Wardell's going to have to push forwards to do that. Nice double headshots coming out of the Blade Storm, and now with that set, it's a two versus two. Time is of the essence. There's the pickup of the frag to get passage to the bomb. Spike now is available. Oh, maybe not anymore though. That's so disgusting from Hayes. Straight in Hiko's face, and with that said, it's going to be a hell of a job now. The Hayes, he's not got much time, and. Nitro is going to get around the corner just in the nick of time to find the frag and lock it down. Two to two now. It's still not clear if they are going to try to commit initially off of this, but Drone has the back side. Still one player on the site. Finally, there's some frags happening here for Under Thieves. They announced their presence, just waiting for the perfect moment to come out of those defensive spots to go for the engagements. And now Sabrosa, he will certainly have been heard. You know exactly where he is. And there's a shock dart to just prove that fact. Tapping away, and the Eco has knocked him down to 41 health. There's just very little to do here now for Sabrosa. Yep. Ethan finally announces his position too, and again, that's just a masterclass in patience from 100 Thieves. Yep. Much as far as weapons go, they do have their end back in the lockdown. It'll be interesting to see if they use that night. Oh man, Hayes turns around, swings, gives him the business, dispatches him. But Hiko and Ethan get in on it as well. TSM, certainly worse for wear. Wardell has just a sliver of health. But Cutler Shock Dart equalized things at three apiece. Steel pushing him through the smoke. He's going to get a chance at one. Rosa pushes back. But the problem is the, spike, or the clock continues to tick away. Nice shot from Cutler with the Sheriff. Nine seconds left on the clock. They have to go. Wardell is starting to get the thing down. Cutler drops. Steel goes in. The spike does drop. Steel with the shots. TSM just down to some Rosa. On the other side of the smoke, one. Isolating things down to 1v1. The Paranoid has got to come out. The Paranoid lands, but Steel swings with the 3k. Wins the round for 100 Thieves. He's in the hole that 100 Thieves does not, and that's the Hunter's Fury. There's the second lockdown. They're going to go ahead and use the run it back as well as they try to get onto the site. And there, dear friends, is that Hunter's Fury. That's going to take care of the lockdown. Meanwhile, Steel was one of the ones detained. That's going to give TSM license left. to get onto the site. So Broza gets all the way in. As he gets up top, he's got a chance at something great here. Something special. Gets two. Looking for the third. Line him up and knock him down. So Rosa comes big. Looking for the fourth. Austin is going to trade him out. He's left alone. A man on an island in a 1v4. Austin with eight health left, too. He's going to swing. Great timing as he takes care of drone. But again, that that is just one, one of many steps he's going to have to take if he wants to win this round for 100 Thieves. And at the very least, you know, charging up his ultimate with some additional kills is it's going to be very valuable. Trying to find something extra here, as you say, just squeezing out as much value as possible. Might not be too much left to squeeze out. And I like this in, in the sense, I'm not sure how much it factors into the decision making, but finishing on a D-play here does deny that res at all. Dell actually catching the rotation there. Just, just holding position. 
has allowed TSM to get an extra kill. And the thing is about that is that they know that T that uh, 100 Thieves know exactly what they're doing now, which is why they have that forward position in the first place. And you know what? It doesn't really matter if TSM <laughs> have Sabrosa spray through the smoke and landing a few headshots. Always very nice to see. Cheeky little frag right at the end there. But 4-4 is the score is yet TSM, you know, finding some success here, Doug. You know, yeah. they're looking a lot better to pull this off, but they just have to go for it. Right. We'll have to see if it's going to work out. They've got to commit. They've taken the middle of the map. That's the one silver lining for them. But Asuna seems to be able to hold it off just fine. Nitro does as well. He's going to get away. What a firing squad from 100 deep. A main position and the orb is collected. They're onto drone. Here. Doesn't get the running back off of that though. No, but they are going to push Steel back and they're going to flood onto the site. Hayes, there's Steel, excuse me, had to look at the Omen ult, and the he gets dropped. Ethan trades one out as well. The Hunter's three out from, oh no, from Hiko as Asuna just, I don't know how he survived that. He ate that, but TSM have gotten onto the site. 100 Thieves at the numbers disadvantage. Hayes has four as Cutler gets the spike down. He's going to use the lockdown as well. This, this round looking so good for TSM. Yeah, it's a good thing that he hesitated on the lockdown in, in, in the end because it looks like it's yeah. going to be a pretty easy cleanup and with all said and done. Exact same spot the previous round, or two rounds ago now, going to have the Vandal drone using the running back. He knows exactly where to peek. What value out of that running back as he takes curve two. Yeah, that's that's really awesome to see from drone completely clearing out the A side all by himself with the ultimate. And they haven't even used the lockdown or the blaze storm just yet, so that that's that, that is a huge win. If they can save that for the next round, that's another with really a huge nice. punish. Really working on a retake here now. Here comes Nitro from the back on Cat, but it's dealt with, and that Cat setup is proving quite problematic here. Asuna trying to do what he can with the satchels, but TSM convert and indeed to mid away, and they're they're going back to be here. TSM has. Oh boy. All right, this is going from bad to worse. TSM, Nitro. Nitro gets one with the Sheriff before dropping. Sabrosa drops as well. It's just onto Cutler. He gets onto the site. He is not going to get the spike down. He is going to swing. Takes Kirihiko, but he's going to drop. The judge that we teed up at the beginning proves to be too much. Losers, decider, match. TSM wins. They go on to master. Or, well, TSM wins. We force map three. TSM loses. 100 Thieves goes on to master. TSM out for the tournament. Yeah, really fast approach here from 100 Thieves, straight through to oh mark boy. him. So Brozo with the lurk, though, he wants to find that timing on the flank. Not able to find it just yet. Teammates will be holding things off on the site in the meantime. And it's not looking too oh, horrendous, wow. but just as I say that, three players dropping instantly for TSM on site. And it's looking like a scary prospect there. Steel with the lurk with the Sheriff. Loving the Sheriff pickup from Steel. Danny, what is the what is the best bang for buck in my utility? And indeed, we're going to see it used for the site entry there. Asuna able to get it off onto Wardell. That's a huge pickup as well. Wardell not able to dash away in time. However, TSM looking to hold on to things here as 100 Thieves fail to make their way into the site with the spike. Well, not only that, but they drop it in a terrible spot where TSM has control, right? It's just down to Nitro there, and they can just squat on it. A huge 3k from Sabrosa to stop the bonus. TSM get back on the board. Feels very scary. Feels like the yeah. push is going to be coming in, but the spike is actually towards the B site. Yeah, and for Wardell here, if he can continue to get a couple of those picks, the fear is gone, and you, you handle that aggression. But the thing is, look at the mini map. Look at TSM. They're starting to pull off. Hayes is the last one kind of staying. Asuna gets a pick on the Wardell, and that should be a cue. Like, guys, the play is on A, but it's not. The gig's up. Nitro gets another one onto Hayes. Now, Drone has to rotate back, but the wall's going to be up. Uh, actually was as well, because they had the steps running away from a main and they spotted two and b so they have all the info it's a pretty good guess that server's coming through b main or late mid and there's that ult so now you know precisely where the server is eco with that a very annoying hunter's fury and they're gonna try to down here he's, he's in some trouble he's gonna have to have to pull back and try to keep himself just alive his presence is is more than than him trying to actually pick a fight doing a lot of damage and TSM are struggling to make their way in just Sabros is the last man standing and, and and there you go it's exactly what can happen a team yeah. can think ah oh, well they just cleared a main so they're going to go back and now we're going to get a, a timing on the site but in fact Wardell sticking around makes the difference and he gets a multi-kill the dash to safety too and just like that TSM swing things back in their favor 
the spikes down, 100 Thieves are at a spot where they can easily pick it up and then decide where they want to play things out. Also, keep an eye on Ethan. He's taking cat control. This could be a devastating pinch left. onto A if the timing is right. They're going to have to have somebody. Diego, come back. Pick it up. Ethan's there on tree. He's able to get one. Just one left on the site. So, Rosa by himself. A man left alone and a man dead. 100 Thieves have control of the site. It's just Hayes alone here in a 1v3. Spike the spike goes down. He's healthy. Dan, he's got utility. He's got plenty of armor. He's got the opportunity to do this here, but he's going to have to go huge. You see Ethan playing off the site. The darts there. Nancy forward from Hayes to keep it alive. Austin drops. Hiko does as well, and Ethan stops the clutch. Checked. Also, on top of that, you got to keep an eye on Steel, who is on the who is on the lurk. Excuse me. The lockdown comes out. Asuna goes in aggressive. Asuna takes care of Wardell. The paranoia is there. The Boombot leading the way as Asuna looks for more. Hazed and Cutler get a couple of pieces. Nitro is tagged up and stays alive for now. And, and Ethan's the only one that didn't get detained. He's got to survive here. And it, he survived for just long enough to prevent his teammates from getting taken down in eight main. And now it's down to Hiko and Nitro. And they are going to do a great job. They're holding things down back to back on a main. He's rolling back the years. Oh my god, he is just crushing in this series. And that's going to force the res to come out. And that's going to force the swing. They want to punish that res. It's just scary because wow. they had a lot. No Hayes is just playing deathmatch right now. Beautiful work off of the Vandal. And he is still confident holding out there. No fear. 23 health. There's only one man left standing. It's Hiko. And Hayes does not care. He just wants to shoot everybody in the face. And here comes the late luck through from Wardell. Surely not, right? Silence. Surely well, not. Hiko. Well, there you go. Hiko gets one onto Wardell. Left. He's got the spike. He's got 30 seconds. So he has some time. He also has the ultimate. The problem is you have to somehow sneak onto the site, get the spike down, and then stay alive long enough to be able to use your Hunter's Fury. He's got oh, no freaking way Hiko does this again. He drops things down to a 1v1, taps, looking for the swing. He spotted Cutler. So he has a great idea. But where he is and Hiko does it again? Are you kidding me? Your first strike champions are going to Masters. I'm sorry, but <laughs> that's what it's like. I feel like this is scripted. Is is someone is is there is it scripted? Because Hiko somehow makes that doable. Hey.